Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In today's video, we have a quick little install here for you. We're gonna be installing some HDPE triple wall drainage pipe. We're gonna be adding on to an existing system. So that's why we chose to use this pipe. Now we're gonna be adding to a corrugated system and this is the black corrugated pipe from the big box store. So we figure we'll just use triple wall to add a couple of catch basins and some low spots in the backyard. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Remember to give 811 a call before you do any excavation. That way they can come out and mark any utility lines that may be in the area. To tap into this existing system, we're going to be connecting to a 6x6 round catch basin. Now when digging our trench, we're going to have just enough fall from the back to this catch basin to get the system to drain properly. Now we're going to be installing this triple wall pipe, so we want to make sure that that trench has a flat bottom, but it doesn't matter what kind of pipe you're installing, you always need a flat bottom trench. Whether it's dual wall, triple wall, PVC, or corrugated, dig your trench correctly. Now we have some pretty big roots in the way. We're going to be using some sawzall pruning blades in order to cut these roots out. As you can see, this one is probably about the size of my leg. Now, we use a Makita plug-in Sawzall, but any Sawzall will do as long as it's got enough power to operate that pruning blade efficiently and power through those roots. Now, for our catch basins, we put a geotextile fabric in the ground underneath the catch basin, and we're gonna be putting pea stone on top of that and drilling a few holes in the catch basin at the bottom in order to leach water out. That way, when the rainy season is over and the system has time to dry up, that water will leach through those holes in the catch basin, through the pea stone, the geofabric, and into the ground. The geofabric acts as a soil separator, so it's very important so that soil does not mix with the pea stone over time. Now, with triple wall, we use a two-step process to bond this pipe. Now, these basins typically are made of styrene, so you're not going to be able to glue triple wall to styrene because triple wall is HDPE plastic. That's high density polyethylene. So the way we bond these is we're going to be putting a little bit of HDPE glue and then we're going to be using tile tape as a secondary layer of defense. Now HDPE glue does not work like a solvent cement like PVC glue. PVC glue, it actually bonds the two PVC you know, the hub and the pipe together. It bonds those plastics together using a chemical reaction. Now, it melts the plastics essentially together, making a, making one part. Now, with HDPE glue, it's more like a rubber cement and it's waterproof. And the one that we use, it, it has a root band in it, so it helps keep roots out. But we're gonna also tile tape up that joint because we want the extra layer of defense. We feel like you cannot protect enough against tree roots. Tree roots are going to be the number one enemy to any drainage system. And they enter in at either the joints in the pipe or if the pipe gets crushed and ends up getting a crack in it, they will enter in through there. Now, as you can see, we're leveling out the pipe, making sure that we have just enough fall between our two catch basins and then eventually the main line to make sure that that water is going to travel in the direction that we want it to go. Once you have your pipe leveled in the proper direction and everything looks good, you're going to want to pack this pipe in from the sides first before just throwing dirt on top of it. The reason for this is because triple wall is slightly flexible. So if you just start throwing dirt on top of the pipe, you could end up creating a belly or a weird spot in the pipe, and that's going to collect debris and sediment. So you want to make sure that you pack this pipe in from the sides first and then go ahead and pack it in on the top. That way you keep your level perfect in that trench. Now, triple wall drainage pipe is a very budget friendly pipe and we will use it on small runs like this, but usually we will use a different pipe for a full system install. It just depends on the situation, but triple wall drainage pipe is not a bad option if you are on a budget and you are doing a very small system or if you are adding to an already existing system like we did here. The system, that we are adding to here, we know it functions because we ran our camera snake through it and the lines were good. Now, if we ran our snake through it and the lines were all clogged up and it could not be fixed, then it would have to be a whole entire rip out and reinstall. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video on HDP triple wall pipe. We have many more if you go check out our channel. If you are in Tampa Bay and you are looking for a drainage system, give us a call. We can come out there and assess the situation and help design a system that fits your needs. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.